The first question is from the Francesca Marie. What exercises would you recommend for a client who is looking to strengthen their joints due to the fact that they had previous injuries that were related to sprains and or strains around the ankle and knee area? Mm. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's hard to give specific recommendations because we don't know why or how your those your knee is you know getting hurt and your ankle is getting hurt. But generally, um, you can do – I mean, honestly, general strengthening exercises are number one. So squats and lunges and your traditional strength training exercises done properly will do a lot to strengthen uh, the, the muscles around the knee. And then as far as the ankle is concerned, um, I would work on both ankle mobility but also calf exercises and exercises that strengthen the tibialis. And balance exercises to work on the muscles that stabilize uh, the ankle. But you know, I'm glad this is that this person is asking this question because that is the right question to ask. Uh, oftentimes, when people have a sprain or repeated sprains or injuries, mm -hmm. they think do less rather than do more of Let the right heal. stuff. Yeah, yeah, like oh, okay, my ankle always gets sprained. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna run anymore. I'm not gonna do that activity anymore. Rather than looking at the root cause, which typically is. Has to do with weakness. Has to do with imbalance. Well, this is really close to the the, the episode, the single topic episode we just did recently, where we talked about like knee issues, right? Like mm -hmm. normally, that's a, like if you are, if you're getting like sprains and things going on the knee, it, that's normally a sign of instability in the ankle and hip. So right away, I would look into like you know like Prime Pro. I would be doing movements for my ankle from Prime Pro. I'd be doing movements for my hip. Those in themselves will already start to create some strength and stability, right? If you're doing those the, all those movements properly. That'll help you. I also would recommend this person uh, train barefoot. Like uh, you know, if you uh, there a lot of times weak ankles also or weak feet. You know, you you yeah. don't have a great connection to the ground and your feet don't grip the ground. You good chances you could be over pronating and issues there. So barefoot training uh, would be great and like stability stuff. So uh, I love to take. The situation like this, take somebody and the way we start our workout after we've done our hip mobility, ankle mobility, the first exercise might be something like a walking lunge. So you dress like what Sal is saying, traditional strength training, and then I'll do it with like stability and barefoot. So I'll have them barefoot, not super heavy or anything like that because we're more about mechanics. And they'll be walking across the, the grass. And as they're walking, they, they do a, a nice big lunge. And then they stabilize and they're, bare, and they're barefoot, remember. And then they stabilize and lunge again, then stabilize and lunge again. Yeah, but they mm -hmm. got to do it right, though, because if their feet are weak and they go barefoot, they'll just pronate. Oh, or yeah. Supinate. You got to really start slow and, and, and consider that that triangle base of support. So you have that uh, that pressure that's evenly distributed. So from your big toe to your, your pinky toe to... Uh, the tongue of your shoe basically you want to be able to be able to apply pressure equally and distribute that throughout your feet and have strength in that so you know you're not you're tilting one you know side to too much versus the other but also like strengthening the forefoot so being able to elevate your heel uh you know as you lunge and then have stability in that and also doing toe squats and things like that as well so uh just that way you know you're you're, you're a little bit more comfortable uh with your with your uh, anything you're doing as far as your your lower extremities and you have stability and support with that there's a great exercise to both your points right there right so you're right sal <clears throat> if you be careful if you go barefoot that you can over pronate. I mean, that's also why I throw the stability in there, right? So it's not about weight, it's about form. If you're barefoot and you balance and you stabilize uh, between each lunge, it's hard to stabilize if you over pronate and, you, and you, or you're off. So that's the reason for that. <clears throat> and then there's a specific exercise I like to do for this. And, uh, and I, think I've, I think I showed this on my Instagram a long time ago. Uh, if you're curious about it, maybe I'll do it again. I'll try and describe it on, on the podcast as best as I can. So Justin was talking about uh, you know the the triangle, right? So you have the the two points on your foot. So if so it's my, like the ball of the foot and the other side of the forefoot, and then the heel, right? The right. triangle. Yeah. So there's the triangle. So you're you're trying to think of that. So one of the things that you can do. So you take a quarter and you put it underneath uh, the the fat pad. So the the top of the the, the triangle, right? And on the forefoot. And when you when you rise up to do calf raises, the thing you want to watch for, and the the quarter is really just to give you feedback. You're you're, you're trying to think. I want to push through that part of my foot. That's the whole point of the quarter being there. It's just giving you feedback. So you drive up through the quarter. And when you do that, people that over pronate or have issues, weak ankles, they'll typically break out. 
So when they go do a calf raise, they, they stand up on their tippy toes and then their ankles break out to the side. And you want to try and fight that and keep them neutral. So, and, and Justin alluded to doing like tippy toe squats. This is the regression before I take someone on tippy toe squats mm. because if you go right up on your tippy toes you and you over pronate, you have weak You're weekend, compensating. That's not good. Yeah. Right. You'll, you'll break out. So what you do is you teach somebody to rise up on the heels, keep their heels in a neutral position, don't allow it to break out. Once they understand what they're trying to do there, then the progression to that is the tippy toe squats that Justin, okay, now I know how to raise up on my tippy toes. I can keep my ankles neutral, not allowing them to break out. They're staying neutral and stable. Okay, now to progress that, I can drop down into a squat while I stay on my tippy toes. Yeah, it's strength and stability, uh, which is controlled by muscle, is what keeps your joints uh, safe and healthy. I mean, when I was a uh, personal story, right? When I was 14, I dislocated my kneecap on my left leg. And uh, uh, part of the rehab uh, uh, was I went to a physical therapist and she had me do some very basic strengthening exercises. It was like a hip bridge. Um, and, a, and a couple other movements, and it helped, but it didn't fully help. And I remember I used to have to wear this brace with two hinges on the sides of the knee. And when I didn't wear it, my knee just felt very unstable. Well, finally, one day I got fed up. I mean, I did this for months, and finally I'm like, I don't care. I'm going to go to the gym and work out. Whatever happens, happens. And I started squatting. I started doing squats, and within weeks, my knee was back to normal because I got it stronger. Now, if you want more specific instruction because, again, it depends on who we're talking to. These are general answers. We have something called the MAPS Prime Bundle. And, and what you do is you go in there. It's got two programs. And there's assessments. You take the assessments, and then you can determine for yourself what specific movements are going to help you best. Because here's the thing with strengthening and stability and mobility. One big piece of that is it needs to be individualized. If you do the wrong mobility movement – not only can it largely be a waste of time sometimes, you might actually be making things worse depending on what your problem yeah. is. So it's really important that you do a self-assessment, which, again, that Prime Bundle's got two programs, and both of them have self-assessments. Look at your ankles. Look at your hips. Those are the things that tend to cause issues with the knee. Of course, you already said the ankle, so look at the ankle. Look at the feet. Do those self-assessment protocols in there and then apply the right exercises for your body. You'll be blown away at how fast your joints start to feel stable and how, how quickly you start to eliminate the risk of injury or at least the one that yeah, you used to have. The more specific you can be, the better. And to be able to prioritize that now and not just kind of mask over it by getting back into your normal routine and workout and addressing it now while you have the opportunity, uh, you're going to benefit from that you know, long term.